the dog came at me and I was backing up and I stepped off the curb and I fell. A dog attacking a mailman might be a funny scene in movies. She was coming at me, so I'm waving my satchel like that, right? But it isn't funny in real life. Mail carrier Dennis Devonish knows from experience. But this one here, the, 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 this dog right here, that it was a, I'm not sure, some sort of mixed, mixed dog. She got it from the pound. Nearly 5,600 postal workers were victims of dog attacks last year. The Postal Service is looking to change that as part of National Dog Bite Prevention Week, which ends Friday. Los Angeles and San Diego rank in the top two spots for number of attacks, with Houston rounding out the top three. And dog attacks are more common this time of year. See, this one is... Same with this play too hard. The dogs are out in the yard more when it's warm. Plus, the screen door might be what's there on the front rather than the solid door, and they can get through that easily. Dog owners can do their part in preventing attacks. We originally just had a mail slot in the door, and then we replaced that with an external mailbox because that was provoking her too much. <laughs> and letter carriers can take steps to increase their own safety. Looking for signs of the dog, making noise before they go into a place, checking that uh, doors are secure. All postmen bring milk bones. <laughs> the key is to stay alert. Just remember that any dog can bite given the right opportunity. And that means dogs of all sizes, big or small. This is Susanna Pock for the Medill News Service.